be showing you the Electrolux iMac E vacuum cleaner. This is from 1956 and we actually have the original owner's manual. So this is from April 1956. So I'm just going to put that aside because that's very quite delicate. So we also have this little, little wand type piece here which just slides right in there. And back in 1956, you had moss around. So, this is the thing that you'd use to kill the moss while you're vacuuming. So, you'd stick this right in the back here. That'd go right there. Then you'd put some moss stuff in there. And it'd go... And you'd kill all your moss around your house. So, that's how they got rid of moss back in 1956. So... That's actually pretty useful back in 1956, but nowadays, not really. There's different types of things that you can use to get rid of mops. So we have our um, top. Now this whole part right here, the head all the way up to, so this whole part right here is not original. This is from a Electrolux Diamond Jubilee vacuum. So, th there there was one that went with it, but we don't have it. So, this part just slides right in. So, then you vacuum up whatever you have to while your mop stuff is spinning around. And also, we have a full video that you can watch right on YouTube. And it's available for all devices. You can watch the video. And watch your device is not too old. You can watch our video about the full manual about this vacuum cleaner. You should go to YouTube and you should go subscribe right now, please. And you should also do what's on the back of my shirt. So this is, has quite the long cord. All right, so now, now you have your vacuum plugged in. All you have to do is flip the switch. stores you really can't anymore because it's 2023 but maybe the time you're watching this is this the next christmas it'll be 2024 so either way this is quite the old vacuum this is about 60 years old 60 year old vacuum and it's actually in quite good condition up around the um little white scratches on it and i've seen some people with broken switches you cannot get a replacement for those anymore all you can basically get now is brushes uh bags and that stuff unfortunately unfortunately i wish there was a seller out there that knows how to make switches and all that stuff but these are one of the kind of things now so that did pretty good J. So it's quite easy to wrap up the cord. Like that about it. And to push it out, just do that. It's much easier than some newer vacuums. Now your cord might unroll. So that's the only thing about this. So your cord might unroll because it doesn't have a latch type thing. If it did, this would be a good vacuum. But it is still even a good vacuum right now. So I just do something like that. It's easy enough. Just do something like that to 
four inch cord up. Then you can easily take off your wands. So you can have two old one wands. And you could go on board. So you could just take this off, put this on, and you could do some dusting. If you're done with that, you can slide this back in. And in our other videos, I showed you how to um how to get the bags out. So if you don't know and you don't want to watch until this video ends, you could go watch that one. This one's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is put that, lift it up, pull out your bag, put a new one in, slide it in, and there. And the reason this is called automatic is because it's got this little thing. So that's supposed to pop open when the bag's full. We don't know if it works. But these are not original wheels. They're supposed to be the color of the vacuum. But make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.